Good day, we are the group 2 and we are going to present about the businessman and entrepreneur Mi Liang Tan of Razor Inc. from Singapore. Who is Mi Liang Tan? Mi Liang Tan or Tan Mi Liang is a Singaporean businessman, internet entrepreneur and former lawyer. He is the CEO founder, chief executive officer and creative director of the gaming hardware company Razor Incorporation. As well as being the CEO of THX, he oversees the design and development of all Razor products. How did he become an entrepreneur? Min Liang Tan gave up a law career in Singapore to start gaming devices company Razor in 2005. The company has acquired a huge global following in solid millions of gaming laptops, mouse, fitness hands, and tablets. Tan expanded Razor in Asia with acquisition of Malaysian virtual currency firm MOL Global and tie-ups with Singtel, Lazada, and China's JD.com. Razer's aim as a company is to release high-end gaming peripherals for the gamers in mind, making their products a gateway to improve skills and become a better player or gamer by using their products. Razer is most well-known in its early years because of its gaming mice. You could say that it was one of a kind. Gaming mice back in the days were not common as people would use a normal mouse for day-to-day -day tasks and even for gaming, but having to think about the idea of having a mouse just specifically for gaming. In the year 2000, Razer released its first ever gaming mouse, the Razer Boom Slam. It has two variations, the 1000 and the 2000. The numbers refer to the DPI or dots per inch which means how fast the mouse cursor moves in windows. This groundbreaking design and specifications and really out of the box shape was surely a hit to people. As technology progressed, Razer did not back down and continued with its vision and momentum and after 5 years released the Razer Viper, a mouse with optical sensors rather than a mechanical ball which greatly improved accuracy and made small movements and adjustments much better and more exact. After two years, Razer introduced one of the best-selling and world-famous gaming mice that had numerous awards and is still considered one of the best gaming mice up to this day. The Razer Death Adder Due to its ergonomic design, many people fell in love with this mouse and with the addition of a new 3G infrared optical sensor, it definitely was a breaking the normal and innovating compared to other brands. It was made even more famous when one of the best League of Legends players, Faker, used this mouse to win three world titles and that cemented this mouse to be one of the greatest to ever be made and introduced. Razer did not stop there, they always wanted to achieve more and wanted better for their customers so after releasing the Death Adder in 2009, they released the Razer Mamba, a wireless mouse with a modified Death Adder shape with a brand new 4G dual laser sensor which meant a more accurate mouse with almost the same shape as a Death Adder but without the wires which was more preferred by gamers because some tend to say that wires can affect performance in some capacity as opposed to being wireless. Up until now, Razer is still one of the best brands for gaming mice, developing and creating new technologies such as their own optical sen sensors and optical switches for mice that are said to be better or at least at the same level as uh, the other brands and makers of mouse sensors. Along with their mice, Razer also sells gaming mice or mouse pads, which can vary for each playing style. They have cloth pads and hard pads, control and speed pads, all of those to cater very specific gamers who require certain qualities of a mouse pad for how they play. FPS or first person shooter players are the ones that need this variety of pads to suit their needs. The trajectory of Razer as a company closing in on the gaming peripherals, it's only a matter of time until they make keyboards of their own. They started out selling normal boards with their own style and branding. As years went by, they developed their own optical switches that is said to be much faster than a normal mechanical key switch. They also started to sell keyboards in other form factors, boards that are wireless and with RGB and keycaps that makes the keyboard more vibrant and more marketable to younger people. In 2016, Razer acquired THX, one of the leading high-fidelity audiovisual companies that caters to home theaters, movie theaters, gaming rooms, car sound systems, speakers, and more. With THX acquired, Razer now began producing high-quality earphones and headphones that is now branded THX Certified or contains THX Spatial Surround Sound which makes you feel like you're in the actual place in the game whether it's in space or in the battlefield. Razer is now currently selling gear that is more focused into streaming such as microphones, gaming chairs, and sound. As you can see, they do not miss out on the opportunities especially with today's gamers leaning on towards streaming.
They did not stop there. They are capitalizing on being the best gaming brand out in the market, not just by creating peripherals. They also sell laptops such as the Razer Blade and the Razer Phone, which tell us that they are a company that provides for the people's needs and not just their wants. Thinking about it, Razer is not a, just a company who produces everything and labels it gaming as RGB as a ridiculous price and calls it a day. They are innovative and what they are doing is not just because they can do it, it's also for the people. Recently, they released a product called Razer Zephyr, which is basically a high-tech face mask with built-in N95 filters that are replaceable and other cool technologies built into it. While it's not a replacement for a typical face mask, you can see that Razer and its CEO is trying their best to be better than the others and innovate and use their resources to create something that will benefit the masses and not just them. For gamers by gamers. That is Razer's tagline, printed to almost every single gear that they have released. Reminding us that these people are not just billionaires trying to make profit with their products, but it's made by a gamer at heart and is concerned enough to create products that will cater all of a gamer's needs. This is the 1999 Razer Boom Slang, the first version of gaming mouse na ginawa po ng Razer. Milian Tang and his co-founder Robert started a simple gaming mouse in 1999 in collaboration with Karna and they created the Razer Boom Slang which is the first version of gaming mouse. However, in 2000, Karna, the one who produced the Razer Boom Slang, shut down and stopped the operation. Since he was a kid, uh, Milian Tang is a hardcore gamer. And in 2005, he continued the idea of working in the gaming industry by setting their goal to create a better gaming mouse. That is something to eat up all the other mouse among their competitors. This is the Diamondback mouse. This is the world's first pro gaming mouse that Razer's created after the 1999 Razer Boom Slang. Um, in 2005, Razer created this mouse specifically designed for all the gamers. This mouse became one of the Razer's best sellers because it is more updated and fastest mouse for gaming in that time rather than the traditional mouse available in the market. With that, Razer became popular because they giving a innovative advanced technology to the gamers or to the users who is um, actively supporting the product of Razer's, providing the sincere tagline which is gaming innovations that are truly made for gamers by gamers. This is effectively embraces the purpose of giving a technological excellence for the gamers or the users of the product of Razer. Over the years, these are the Razer products available in the market. Um, Razer is one of the leading brands in creating gaming gears in digital entertainment and they are also the one of um, they are also one of the brand that is using and being supported by the esports events. Before being an entrepreneur, Min Liang Tan was a lawyer by profession. Although his profession was very far from his business, he managed to be a young billionaire through his chosen field. On the next few slides, we will talk about his special characteristics that have brought him to success. Min Liang Tan is a risk taker and has the initiative. When he was a lawyer, he enjoyed getting the paperwork done and a corporate governance perspective. However, there was something inside him that wanted to go out and do something different and that's when he decided to quit his career and took the initiative to start something new, which is the Razer Incorporated Gaming Firm, Liang's first business. Liang is an advocate for friendship and consistent research. These two factors work in his favor as he was starting his business. He has a good interpersonal skills that enabled him to communicate and build positive relationships with the serial entrepreneurs whom he spent most of his time with to learn and adapt business skills. 
The Razer CEO also found a business partner that helped the gaming company with tough issues they had. Liang also emphasized the importance of consistent research and learning your craft to be successful in your field. Liang loves gaming from way back when he was a kid. He used to stay on the computer for many hours playing different games. His so much love for gaming inspired him to start Razer. Loving what he does allows him to do great work. This is another factor that contributed a lot to his success as it increased his motivation and strengthened his passion in managing his firm. In reality, he can move to any industry that is existing, but his love for gaming made him stay and be consistent on his job. In the early years of Razer, gaming business was being overlooked and taken for granted. So, Liang's family and friends were against it. But he firmly believed with his outlook and continued executing his plan with months of hard work and consistently studying how they would introduce his business to the investors. They came up with a perspective that shaped their business. Prior to establishing this gaming firm, Liang was confident that he was equipped with business skills and he was fit for this. He would always watch the other companies on how they do their job and absorb the positive sides of those strategies. His confidence gave him so much determination to continue what he had started. Liang acknowledges and emphasizes that in order to be a successful entrepreneur in your industry, you must let out more effort. You cannot just sit and be lazy while expecting your business to do its own job. Success comes from continuous effort, good strategy, and consistency. Also, remaining focused on your goals at all times is a very necessary characteristic. Just like what Liang did, he did not let the discouragement he got from his family and friends bring him down nor change his mind, but rather he used that to create a perspective and positive outlook that they've been holding on to until now. Since the CEO and creative director of company has been hyper-focused on developing some of the best and innovative tech, Razer Inc. has grown from a small startup to one that was included in Fortune Magazine's Unicorn List, a list of companies valued at $1 billion or more in 2015. Min Liang Tan is directing and overseeing the design and development of all Razer products. Since 2005, the company has acquired a huge global following and sold millions of gaming laptops, fitness bands, and tablets. In 2011, Razer Inc. won its first official Best of CES in Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas and has walked away with the award every year since, making it the only company to win the award six times consecutively. Do the best that you can and drive to be the best are Min Liang Tan's personal mantras, which are clearly manifested by the company's achievements. Min Liang Tan and Razer Inc. has clearly collected different awards as years passed by. In recognition of his achievement, Min Liang was awarded IT Young Professional of the Year, award by SCS two years after founding Razer. Min Liang has been named one of the 25 most creative people in tech by Business Insider. He has also been ranked one of the top 10 most influential leaders in tech in 2015 by Juniper Research and ranked number one of the top 30 Southeast Asia tech founders by Tech in Asia. In 2011, he was awarded the Outstanding NUS Innovator Award by his alma mater, the National University of Singapore, and was recognized as one of their Outstanding Young Alumni in 2015. Min Liang Tan was also named as one of the 40 most powerful people in gaming by Kotaku in their The Kotaku Power 40 list. After that year, Tan was also named the Asian of the Year in 2016 by Singaporean newspaper The Straight Times.
Just last year, Min Liang Tan was also recognized by DFA Awards. DFA Design Leadership Award recognizes business leaders and entrepreneurs who create exceptional and sustainable business successes through the use of design strategically and innovatively. As we have observed, what distinguishes Min Liang Tan from other CEOs is how he attributes his achievements to his loyal following and reciprocates their love and trust by making important business decisions that keep the gamer at the heart. To him, design is about making things work for everyone. And since it is pandemic, in these uncertain times, Tan dropped practically everything he was doing and prompted Razer to adopt manufacturing facilities to produce safe and reliable medical-grade masks. Razer's many innovations and industry-leading practices will improve the quality of life not only for gamers, but for all of us. And lastly, according to Min Liang Tan, design is more than just business. Thank you for listening to our group.